This mystical tower, surrounded by a reflecting pool and spectacular landscaping, is not a filming location from the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Instead, this remarkable 205-foot-tall structure is the centerpiece of a wonderland called Bach Tower Gardens. Let's explore. Hey everybody, here we are at the fabulous Bach Tower Gardens, which is celebrating its 90th anniversary this year. A Bach Tower is situated just outside of Lake Wales, Florida, and it's supposed to have these absolutely incredible botanical gardens. It's a national historic landmark, and we have been waiting to come here. So come along, and we're going to see some beautiful nature, some beautiful manicured gardens, and all manner of cool stuff. Let's go. Make the world a bit better or more beautiful because you have lived in it. Well, those are words to live by, and the folks behind this magical place are definitely living up to that quote. Everywhere you turn, there's something truly stunning here. It's considered the masterwork of landscape architect Frederick Law Olmsted Jr. Now maybe you're looking for the perfect piece of garden art to liven up your latest outdoor project. You can find that at the gift shop. Or if you like amusing, nature-inspired mosaics, this spot has you covered. There's a lot to see here, and it is seriously, y'all, it is all breathtaking. After staring at those amazing air plant displays close to the entrance, we journeyed to the charming Hammock Hollow Children's Garden. And well, since our inner children have a tendency to pop out with no provocation whatsoever, imagine what happens when we see something like this. Hey everybody, I hope you're having fun so far. We have even barely made it into the entrance and we've already just gotten completely overwhelmed like a kid in a candy store, a moth to a flame, but we are just now at the front area. We got through the gift shop area, there's a little cafe, and we just fell in love with this cute little adorable uh, scarecrow, so we had to kind of do like a fun little pose to match him. But we're going to start walking up to uh, the tower.
And now we're about to see my inner child go a little bit crazy. Hey everybody, welcome to the Songbird Music Tree. This is giving me flashbacks because I used to play xylophone, marimba, and bells and percussion. I think I'm rusty. Yay! <laughs> I'll be my underscoring for the entire video. <laughs> <laughs> That was great. And now it's time for the main event, the Singing Tower. Singing Tower, you may say? That's right, because this tower houses a 60-bell carillon, and the sound of these chromatically tuned bells is simply otherworldly. It sounds a lot better than the tune that I was just playing, let's put it that way. It's important to give credit where credit is due. The Bach in Bach Tower Gardens is one Edward W. Bach, who was inspired by the hilly setting and the lush vegetation in this little corner of Florida. And so he decided to gift this 50-acre garden to the American people. Uh, thanks, by the way, Mr. Bach. Wow, I didn't get you anything in return and now I feel really bad. The tower was designed by renowned architect Milton Metery in the Art Deco style, stone sculpture by Lee Laurie, ironwork by Samuel Yellen, and tile mosaics by J.H. Dulles Allen. And, well, look at it. It's such an inspiring sight. So I'm going to stop talking and leave you all to witness the inspiring mystical tower, the surrounding reflecting pool, and the pool's playful inhabitants. They're not Tolkien characters, but, you know, koi fish are pretty dang cool.
leave a comment to say hi. If you like us, please subscribe. And if you don't, our little fluffy dog will attack you.